What's going on everyone? I'm going to show you today how to install mods for Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. Uh, last time I did Imperial Civil War, I did Empire at War. This will be a bit easier because Sins doesn't have three different copies of the game to explain and uh, the process is a lot more straightforward. So first what you want to do is you want to download your mod to this mods folder or paste it in if you downloaded it somewhere else. Uh, so it'll be usually Documents, My Games, Ironclad Games, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion, and then Mod-Rebellion, and then the version number. Right now it's version 1.85, you can see in my little address bar here where we are. Uh, the good part about this is the game, if you have ever run the game, it will automatically create this. So this will be here, this folder will be here, and this blank enabled mods file will be here. So what you're going to want to do is, I've got Ascendancy V1.0 or V1F for Sins 1.5 here. First step you want to do is extract here. Do not use the extract, uh, extract to whatever. I'll explain why in a minute. So this is probably going to take a little bit. Uh, it's not really important that I get the entire thing extracted anyways. But as long as it's starting, whatever. So that'll bring out, that'll start bringing out the files. And you want to make sure, uh, this is why you're doing extract here that it goes directly from this from the mods folder into this folder and then you have all this game information. A common mistake is if you are to do it extract to this it'll create from the mods folder to this folder and then there will be a duplicate. So it'll go mods ascendancy v1f then another folder called ascendancy v1f for the name of the raw or whatever it is in there and then you'd have to go inside that to get to this game content and stuff and that is not what you want. So, uh, that's the first step. The next thing you want to do, and uh, I'll open it here, is most mods will have this enabled mods.txt with it. When it prompts you, you should let it overwrite your existing one. This will make it so that you just have to run the game and it'll already have whichever mod you want installed, uh, but I'll explain what that does. I'm just going to take the text from this one. Oh, there we go. We go from here. Close that. We'll go back to that. Um, don't want the compress folder tool, but whatever. Okay. So now we're going to go into the enabled mod tool. If I just let this extract for longer, this would ask to be prompted to be released right away. But either way, what you're going to do is at the start, this would have been like this. You want to add in this line that says enabled mod name. You're going to change the count from zero to one. Then you're going to have enabled mod name, uh, the quotation mark, and then you're going to put the name of this folder. So the name of the mod folder. If you rename this, you have to rename it here. This is just telling the game what to load. And that'll be, that's essentially all you have to do. That'll enable the mod so that when you run Rebellion, it'll run that mod. Uh, again, this will come with most mods. Uh, see, it's prompting me to replace it right now. Sure, we'll do that. And so if you ever want to change it back to the base game, just change this back to zero, delete that line. If you ever want to change from Ascendancy to something else, let's say Star Trek Armada 3, whatever the folder's called, I can't remember off the top of my head what they call it. But that's essentially what you're doing. This mod, this file, this enabled mods file will be created automatically by the game when you run it. Uh, there's also a way, uh, well actually, next step, most mods will also come with this. It's called large address aware. You can see my kindred backdrop there, but whatever. Uh, so large address aware allows the game to use more memory. Most big mods will need this or the game will just function better with it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna load this uh, you can keep it in simple mode. You're going to go to uh, your Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion folder. That's usually in your Steam program files, then Steam apps, common, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. If you have the GOG version of Sins, it'll be in a different directory, but the main thing is you want to get to this right here. Your Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion IXC. And then you want to check this box to enable the application to use more than two uh, gigabytes of memory and uncheck the box. You want to check the box and then save. 
and that allows the game to run better without crashing. So at that point, you've got, it, you've got the folder here, you've got it enabled here. You can just run the game normally, and that'll run the mod. But if you don't want to mess with this file here, there is also an option to go in game. I've already got the game open. Uh, you'll go to options, mods, and then uh, if I had opened this after I'd created that folder, the game would see that it would say the folder name here. So ascendancy v1f would be here. You click on the mod, enable mod, then apply changes. And that would be it. However, most large mods discourage you from doing this. If you do it in game, it'll usually crash, you'll have to restart, and then it might not even save the changes. I believe they've addressed this in a later, in one of the most recent patches. I'm not sure, I haven't tried it yet myself, but just be careful when you're doing it this way because it can cause instability. If it does work for you, we do typically suggest that uh, even at that point you exit out of the game and reload it because there's some of the older assets still in memory and it can cause a lot more crashing issues. But either way, that's how you install the mods. Uh, I guess I can show you that we've gone to that. Mod environment environment five. Did I change this? No, I did not. Uh, da -da -da -da. It'll be in the README as well. So in the README, we have the exact same text you want to copy. Enabled mods. Save. That'll load ascendancy. All right. So I'm just forcing it to close. Uh, so yep, that'll do it. That's how you install the mods. If you have any questions or if you have any trouble installing the mods at that point, uh, let me know in the comments, and I will try to help everyone I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.